Okay, hello ladies and gents from Rebel Sand Gaming. Today, I'm just gonna have a little review of new Russian DLC for Battlefield 1, Name of the Tsar. Um, uh, the maps are really nice. Uh, I'm currently on Kishiba or some shit. Uh, I don't know the name. I don't, I don't understand Russian pronunciations really well. It's a weird name. Uh, overall, the maps are real expansive. I like this map particularly. It's really good for new snipers out there. Uh, look how peace is all right. Or look how pass is all right for snipe as well. It's just a little short in my opinion. It's like so close together and such. Flame Trooper. And uh, uh, Brissav Keep is a nice map as well. It's good for snipe and it's close core of snipe this kind of thing. So you want to use like a little carbine or something. And overall though, uh, maps are good mainly for, I mean close quarters. If you love close quarters, you probably love Love Cow Pass. Or the bus south keep mainly. Uh, anyway, though, um, a tank hunter kick is available near your location. pretty much overall, though. The maps mainly this map right here is perfect for sniping, honestly, along with Love Cow Pass and Bruce South Keep. But those maps are close quarters kind of sniping and such, so you probably expect a lot of that there. Uh, um, Overall, the new weapon assignments are really worth it, honestly, in my opinion. Sure, it may take a while. You gotta get for the most of the giant infantry, the gaunt infantry, my bad. You have to get three headshots in a round with the short magazine lead and field infantry variant, which is not hard if you just don't want to double damage. Sure, just fucking aim at their head and pop them real quick. You also have to get 20 kills with the Mars automatic pistol to unlock it. For the marksman, uh, uh, you gotta get. 20 kills or 50 kills with the Prevair 98 marksman variant, and I think the Luger P08 maybe, I think, I don't know. I didn't really look back on that one. Oh shit. Fucking commie bastard. But, here's a quick overview of what you need to do to unlock these. Uh, Mose and Nagant, you gotta get 20 kills with Mars on Mac, as i shown. Alright, uh, I got 3 headshots. Uh, for the marksman, you gotta get 50 headshots. 50 kills with the Gavir 98 Marksman, 15 kills with the Troop Fire Bomb AG. You gotta get 20 for the Viteri Vitali Mile 1870 1887 3 variant. You need to get 15 kills with the 1903 Experimental. On the CT, however, you had to use it to get 15 kills with the Medic. I'm glad they changed that because it would have just been a pain in the ass for everybody, in my opinion. You also get 20 Periscope Spots, which is, is not really that hard. It's just like R1 on the trigger or. RB or something. Uh, for the carbine, you have to get one vehicle to sort cables. You have to get the kills with the SMLE MK3 carbine. Isn't that hard either? Um, for the new pistols, you gotta get five kills in a round with 1903 pistol. And for the most of the Gaunt revolver, you have to get 20 kills with the Lear pistol. Now, these are good as well. Uh, they add in uh, specializations to the game, which um, over here just like makes you have a better performance in the game, honestly. Eagle Eye, Perimeter. And such, and just gives you different variants and such. Uh, they have a couple new knives out. I don't think they've added them all yet. I don't think. But the Kozak dagger, that's for fucking cavalry. Uh, the uh, other guns for each class, though. So, um, for the Parabellum, you gotta get two sort two airplanes with LMGs, which is gonna be a pain in the ass, honestly. Uh, you got point forty, and you gotta get twenty kills with the mortar air burst for this one for the low weight variant uh, for the suppressive you gotta get 40 kills with a loose gun low weight and form 50 vehicle repairs quite simple really uh, for this this beast of a gun you have to get 40 kills with an MG15 and a low weight and form 10 squad resupplies in a round uh, you gotta get 20 kills for the defensive you gotta get 20 kills with the re repetitor pistol the mile 1912 pistol 220 kills and 50 kills with the bar M1918 storm now for the medic class you will have two th four variants two variants and two normals the factory general lao rifle is a chinese rifle uh made by some chinese feller uh you gotta get 40 kills with monarch dragon storm and perform 30 squad revise which is not hard really and for the general lao storm variant you have to get 50 kills with auto 
loading a 35 marksman for three kills with the Retention rifle grenade frag. And for the Fedorov out of Mott trench, you have to get 40 kills with the Shea Rigatti trench and form 40 squad Charlie. heals. And for the automatic Fedorov Avatomat opti optical, sorry, I'm kind of nervous. Uh, you got 20 kills with C96 pistol and 50 kills with Seb Blaster M1916 optical. And as everyone loves it, I know everyone here loves fucking shotties in this game. We have lost objective apples. You gotta get 40 kills with the M19 M97 trench gun backboard and in a round form 5 kills with AT rocket gun. Um, for the slug variant, you have to get 50 kills with 12 gauge automatic extended and form 20 kills with gas or M1870 pistol, which is actually a revolver, but they call it a pistol. I don't know why. And for the SMG 18. 18 factory got 15 kills on MP18 trench and formed 10 kills with anti tank grenades. And for the optical variant of this gun, you have to form 50 kills with automatic with M1918 trench and destroy five tanks with anti tank mines. And that is the overview of the new weapon assignments and the maps in general. Uh, overall, the DLC is fantastic. I expect a little patch or two later, a patch or two come out to the Trying to tweak some of the mechanics in the game, but um, otherwise, it's still a great DLC. I expect more coming from the DLC for Battlefield 1 in a couple months or a year. Got me another kill. Anyway, though, uh, guys, I uh, appreciate y'all for watching this little view for uh, the name of the Zar DLC for Battlefield 1. Uh, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one. I'm Rebel Sun Gaming. See ya.